Welcome to Pod Applaud, the Monday through Friday podcast that aims to enable your podcast habit. I'm your host, Seb, and today we are going to take a look at the podcast, The Veil. The Veil is an anthology audio drama produced by Vox Studios that focuses on fictional stories in which the nature of a person's existence is distorted or called into question. There is about 10 episodes out as I write this review that hover around 20 minutes in length, and you can expect a new one to be released each week. I tuned into the veil as a blank slate, not knowing what to expect. I think I just searched audio drama into Pocket Cast, and the podcast art caught my attention. Bada bing, next thing I was listening. Yeah, I know, I'm basic. The show is an anthology type show in which the episodes are a standalone item. You can listen in any order you'd like. Usually, when I think audio drama, I think one narrative over multiple episodes, but I suppose anthologies are audio drama just the same. The one thorn in my side so far has been that the first episode I listened to was the best one and left the show with pretty big boots to fill. Episodes have different plots, writers, and voice actors, but each touch on a similar theme. In each episode, you end up kind of questioning existence, how it is possible to exist in an alternate way or how you could lose your very existence as you know it. There are strong horror and thriller ties here, but the episodes didn't really have me freaked out. Vox is really aiming high with the production of this show. The voice talent is on point, the sound quality is phenomenal, and they're really flexing their audio production muscles. They are flexing so much, in fact, that at times, it feels like the show is a thinly veiled method to advertise their production services. See what I did there? Thinly veiled? Eh? Eh? I would say the weakest aspect of the show is probably the writing. Which, let me be clear, is still very good. The subject matter is taking cues from shows like Twilight Zone and Black Mirror. However, I think the short nature of the podcast doesn't quite allow us to get too involved in the characters before they start experiencing their existential troubles. So, I find myself feeling a bit of separation between me and the story's characters. At points, the episodes could be more subtle as well. For example, in the episode Impressions, The main character has what seems to be a 180 degree personality flip because of one relatively small igniting incident. I know this seems like a lot of griping, but I think Vox is really aiming for the moon and landing among the stars in this scenario. They have all the trappings of one of those rare, genre defining podcasts that people recommend for years but they're not quite on the level of the heavy hitters. At least, not yet. It's an anthology show that could continue on for a long time. So, who knows just how far they might go. How do I rate this show that is already great, but perhaps they have a bit more potential to eke out? Well, here on Podaplod, I rate shows on a 1 to 5 scale. One is silence. 2 is a slow clap, 3 is applause, 4 is a round of applause, and 5, of course, is a standing ovation. I can see through this particular veil, and on the other side I see a 4 out of 5. I happened to stumble in early on this show, so I will definitely catch up on the other 4 episodes I haven't listened to yet, and likely keep listening to this show in the future. 
I think the show is exploring a place that a lot of other podcasts are engaging in as well, but does it better than most. Especially, of course, when it comes to sound quality. I would recommend this show to people who like weird takes on human consciousness, audio quality snobs, and people who tend to prefer anthology works in which they can hop around episodes as they please. That's been the show for today. I hope you found it valuable. If you wish to reach out to me, you can find me on Twitter at PodApplaud or send an email to podapplaud at gmail.com. Thank you for listening and please tune in again.